had several people ask me how to mill this John Townsend style uh, molding. All right, so first off, um, we need to talk about the bits, and I'll leave a, a link in the uh, description below on on all these bits. All right. Okay, so the bits we got here. Uh, first one to make the cove is going to be a horizontal crown molding bit. Okay. Um, the next one you're going to need is a mini multi-form. And then the final one is a Roman OG of some sort. All right. All right, let's go ahead. Two boards. So this part here is, it starts off at two and three quarter wide. Okay, it's going to get shaved down a little bit more than that because we have to cut a flat spot down here. Okay, this is where we're going to lose our material. But in order to get this piece on the bottom, we have to cut a flat piece on this on this molding. All right. So I'm going to show you real quick how I set this up. So first off, you need a stock of uh, three quarter inch material, um, and you want to put a center line on it, and uh, so you can line it up because you want it to run in the center of your bit right here. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to set up our fence. And on this, when you're running this bit, you have to have a, a your fence has to be straight. So it actually has to be the same distance from uh, the outside of your table to the inside of your table with this bit. It's not like another bit where it's cutting it one point. So I happen to have a, a uh, table saw fence on my router table so just for speed but you don't have to I've done it I did it for years um, where I just measured off the end of my table and got my measurement right so that's the first thing you want to do um, and also my router table has an index point so all I have to do is bring here if you don't you can just set your set it right on top there and then get your fence over close and then you can kind of make your fine adjustments okay all right so once we get that set I'm gonna set it up to here just for speed all right that looks pretty good right there all right and then when you run this bit you want to make sure that you get all your crap off your router table for starters so you don't kill yourself And this bit runs in both directions so you have to be really careful that when you're feeding this you really need to set up a feather board which I will um, just because I want to promote safety <laughs> all right so anyway all right so we're gonna do that here let me get a feather board out and I'll be right back okay so I got one feather board set up and I'm going to show you what I do on the other side because sometimes you can come over here and set another feather board up and the darn thing, you get stuck. Um, so what I like to do is come in here, pop that in there, take this, set this on the other side, butt it up to it, and roll with it like that. Okay, And this will help keep, because like I said, when I feed this thing through here, um, it's gonna push and pull at the same time and if you're not careful it'll take it right out of your hands all right so i'm gonna run this and uh we'll take a look at it <laughs> Okay, and so this is our piece once it's milled. And one thing that you can do at the end, so you wanna to try to have the same reveal here as on the other one. In this particular molding, it doesn't really matter. Now that reveal should probably be about um, anywhere between a quarter and three eighths. Um, that's gonna be 
up to you. There's um, some variants in there that you could do that any way you wanted to. So, you know, make you a test cut and do that. And one thing too to note is, um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but right in here, um, it's got a little wave to it. So make your, make your moldings, you know, three or four inches longer than what you need so you can cut off anything that's um, bad like that. Okay, I'm gonna come over here to the table saw now and we're gonna take a look on how to cut. This is the probably the most um, complicated part. I mean, it's not really complicated, but it is in this case to try to figure this out, how this worked. It took me a while and a lot of trial and error, but I'm showing it to you, it'll be a piece of cake because you're just following my direction. So, all right, here we go. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to cut this bevel right here, okay? And all we do is we set our saw to 45 and we cut it off. And the distance between here and here should be equal. So pick whatever it is. In my case, it's 3 16 All right, we'll run that. So if you can look right here, what we did is we cut that first, that first bevel, okay? Now, you could go over here and do the same thing and it'll give you a really pretty molding or you can come across here and cut it all the way to the edge flat so that it's going this way um, it just depends on the look you're going for but this specific molding so what I did was I cut it so that these two pieces are equal I've got an equal um, bevel there and that measurement is Um, about three sixteenths on both sides. Yep, three sixteenths. So I cut this. Sorry, it's hard to get this thing focused and do all this. So this is three sixteenths, and that's three sixteenths. Be honest with you, I just kind of set it up there and kind of eyeball it. Um, I've done it enough that I do that. Now, the second bevel cut I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take it all the way to here all the way off and that will give me a flat spot for that piece of molding to sit on and you'll see that saw up to cut um, at 45 45 degrees and uh, let me cut it here I don't know what the um, how much I'm taking off um, I just kind of eyeball it honestly <laughs> So I apologize for this. I don't know what happened to the clip in my film on this showing this, but I couldn't find the darn thing. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is cut this back bevel off of it, okay? Now, if it was in the flat, okay, if it was in the flat like this, essentially what we're doing is we're cutting to this point and to this point, okay? that makes sense so that you end up with this okay so when I'm cutting that I'm I'm going to this wherever this point was right here okay there and there I'm sorry that I lost the film but hopefully that that makes sense so there's your piece again um, so we've already got these chopped off this chopped off and now we've got to make this cut here okay and we just go to the, our edges there in there now it would hang off of your cabinet or whatever like this and this in of itself could be a beautiful a beautiful molding okay so that's that's what it looks like from the edge. So we just got, you know, 45 here, 45 here, 45 there, 45 there. But you always want to cut this face side first, okay? Because you want to lose these two edges. You want these to stay the same. So if you cut the back side first, you're not gonna be able to have that. So you want to cut the top side first. All right. Now, next we're gonna take a look at um, how you make this piece. Okay? <music> 